St Kilda Legal Service uh, is a community legal service that was one of two that started in the 70s. It's uh, one of the oldest in Melbourne along with Fitzroy Legal Service and it was started by a committed group of volunteers. I'm funded the actual title is Drug Outreach Lawyer. I don't use that title on anything because I think it stigmatises my clients. The position is funded specifically to do outreach, so to go out and meet people who otherwise perhaps wouldn't walk into a lawyer's office, would find it difficult to access legal services. So I do outreaches to a number of agencies uh, in the area. So, uh, and part of my position, unlike the position in um, Fitzroy, uh, is aimed at working with street sex workers that was very important with the position from the start and that came on the back of the uh, review of the street sex work laws and uh, the subsequent um, setting up of the loiter list at the Melbourne Magistrates Court. So one of my outreaches uh, is to Red at 10 Inkerman Street uh, with the purpose of partly um, speaking to street sex workers who have been charged before they go to court so that I can also support them through the whole court system. There's a lot of barriers for street sex workers to attend court um, on a gen in a general list uh, and that's not to say that they that they don't because street sex work offences do still go into the general list sometimes. The loiter list was set up because the people who were working on it at the time who included um, magistrates, um, read our service, um, Port Phillip um, Council, wanted to encourage street sex workers to be involved in the court system so that matters were dealt with, so that people weren't being picked up on warrants because they hadn't dealt with being chucked into remand um, and then having the whole everything escalate until it be, actually became quite you know becomes quite a big issue for some people uh, so that we could get them through the court system and also uh, put in supports that might encourage them to stop street sex working so in the general list people appear in a public um, in, in the court, it's you know the summary is read out, everything is heard. That's something that people don't necessarily want to happen, and there also are not perhaps the supports quite often there to support the person who's being charged because it can be very difficult for them and very alienating and very traumatic to be there. So the loitering list has. Um, Salvation Army there, has other workers there who are there to support um, the person who is um, charged. We um, work towards having a result that not only says, look, you have to acknowledge that what you have done is actually an offence against the law, but you also have to acknowledge that you need to put supports in so that, um, and, and you need to accept supports uh, if you want to move out of street sex work and here are those supports and here's how you can access them. So it's sometimes when someone is charged with loiter that is the first time perhaps that they come into touch with those supports through the court system um, and through being involved with that process. So whilst some of the perceptions of the loiter list might be that oh it's soft on people and it does this and it does that, it, it's also important to acknowledge that there's no point just chucking people in jail for loiter or solicit because even if you do that they're not going to be there for very long. The things that put them there are going to be there when they go out and they're going to be there magnified a hundred times because they're coming back out to no housing, to everything that they lose when they're going to jail and they're probably going to go and need to work again and, you, and women get into that cycle. Whereas if we can say to them, look, if you're going to keep on doing that, well, that, that's your choice and we obviously can't drag you off the street, but here's the things that can help you get off the street and here's the things that we can put in place and here's the people right here, here and now in the court, you don't have to go out of your way to, to go and see them, who can tell you about that. 
and, and that's a really important aspect of, of the loiter list. Uh, I'm always happy and our service is always happy to take phone calls from people who have queries about um, how our service deals with legal issues um, and we're always happy to uh, provide a speaker uh, if you have a group that would like to learn more about how community legal services work and um, we're always very grateful for donations.